Hey Natural Little Fam, we are back in the kitchen again today for another great vlog. This time I'll be showing you guys how it is I do KFC's famous bowl at home. So guys, you can see already I have prepared my chicken. This is chicken breast. It has been washed in vinegar and cut into small bite-sized pieces. And I'm just going ahead now to add the seasoning. The list of seasoning can be found in my description section. Once I've added all the seasoning, the next thing I'm going to do is just to use my hands to rub the seasoning in and then I'm going to leave it for the chicken to marinate, right? So it can't be a famous bowl if it says that we don't have potatoes. So right now all I'll be doing is just peeling some Irish potatoes and dicing them into small pieces. Then I'm going to put them to boil. Don't mind how I'm peeling, you know guys, don't mind me and my peeling skills. So while I'm prepping the potatoes guys, um, if you're new here, you're new to my channel and you're not a subscriber, welcome, welcome, welcome. If you are already a subscriber, welcome back, welcome back, welcome back. For me on the day from them timely. Anyways, guys, if you're new and you're not a subscriber, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And I hope, guys, by the end of the video, you'll also hit that like button because, you know, the famous bowl will look nice and tasty. So, my oil has been prepped, and I'm now going ahead to do the frying of the chicken bits that will be used in the famous bowl. Now, if you watched my wings video, how I prepared my original and hot and spicy wings, you'd know that my batter is made with flour, cornstarch, Maggie All Purpose seasoning, and cayenne pepper. Yes, Casey's famous bowl doesn't have pepper in there, well, they don't use spicy chicken for their bowl. But you know, we have to add a little taste, a little difference, a little mara to the mix, right? So I'm just going ahead to deep fry the bits until they're golden and pretty and will look good for the famous bowl. So you can see as well that there's an additional pot on the stove. But that pot is boiling some water that I'll soon add my potatoes to. So that we can make the mash later. So I'm just going to allow my chicken bits to fry. Deep fry golden on a medium flame. Even though they are breast, they are actually cut very small so that won't take very long to fry. They are almost ready and trust me, they are already looking ready to eat, like ready. So I'm just going to add my potatoes to the boiling water and I'll also add some salt, you know, for taste and leave that to cook. So once the chicken are finished, then I'll remove them from the oil and I'm placing them in a container that allows excess oil to drain from them. Because I don't really want that oily chicken. And I'm sure as well we should all be considering our health as it relates to having too much fatty oily things in our diet. So you know, allow it to drain off the excess oil, better for your health. So I didn't get the bone breast for this. I'm actually using regular chicken breast. So what I did is to actually cut the flesh from the bone and then the sections that have the bone. I'll be frying those now separately and those will be out of snack. I've got a famous bone, right? 
as Australian fans would say, what the hell is, not the whole right? Right. Right. So now I'll show you what my chicken bits look like after they have been fully fried. So those are now ready, so I'm going to move on to the preparation of the Irish potatoes. So this is what I'll be using as well. In the meal, I have my mayo, my sweet corn, my cheese, and my butter. I'll be adding the butter to the Irish potato. So after you boil the Irish guys, remember you drain the water. Add whatever it is you want to be using. In the potato, in this case, I'm using butter and some mayonnaise, and then go ahead to crush the Irish potato. So, I am actually using mozzarella cheese for this meal. You can also use cheddar cheese. I know between cheddar cheese and mozzarella cheese, not just in difference in taste, but also in terms of when it's melted, how it looks. But I kind of have a thing for mozzarella and wanted to use that for this one. So, once I'm done with the cheese, I'm going to move on to packing my plates. And yes, I am actually using real KFC famous bowl dishes. So, I'm going ahead to stack the bottom of the dishes with the cream and the potato. These will actually be a little bit heavier than a normal famous bowl. But, it's your style, your option, make it how you like. So after adding your potatoes, you can also go ahead to add some gravy, chicken potatoes. You can go ahead to add some gravy. I won't be adding any gravy to mine. So the next thing that I'll be adding on top of the potatoes is the sweet corn. Next up will be the chicken breast that will be added to the top. And once I'm done with laying out my chicken, then I'm going to go ahead to add the cheese on top of that. You can also add the cheese on top of the corn or some on top of the corn and then additional cheese on top of the chicken. All the better, all the tastier. And once I've completed adding the cheese to each bowl, the next thing I'll do is to just seal the containers and microwave so that the cheese can melt and complete the dish. So that's it guys, that's how I do my homemade KFC famous bowl. If it is you're going to try this idea or try to make this at home, let me know in the comment section. Also. If there is 
anything else you'd like for me to show you how it is you can make your version at home especially now within the pandemic using our hands getting creative and making our lunch and dinner ideas fun so guys that's it for my video for today i do hope you enjoyed it and you'll definitely be giving this a try don't forget to leave me a thumbs up leave me a comment and also if you have not yet subscribed hit me up with a subscription until next time guys continue to be your most authentic self and stay naturally bye